this is how it looks when it's on my on my head. Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to today's video. I'm here with Joseph, and we are testing the Tilo 3 set um, thermo camera, which is five grand. So it's a really expensive piece of equipment and tiny. You can just put it on your head, have it ready to go. It doesn't weigh anything. And if you need it, it's like tuk, done. Now you see. And that's what we want to test now. Does it make sense for airsoft? For me, it's especially interesting if it works during the day, because I think uh, if you look at airsoft players, I would say 95% of them only play during the day. So what we're going to check is I'm just hiding in the forest, like in a normal game. I'm going to wear camo and we're also going to try it with a leaf suit. And then later on, we're going to try to trick the camera with five degree cold water. Maybe that makes a difference. And we also have a campfire set up so we can see how well it sees really high temperatures and also here really low temperatures. Today it's around 20 degrees, my body is 36 degrees and I have basically something isolating. Can you see Man, it? I don't know. When you look through it, everything is just black and white. I'm pessimistic. Yeah. And considering the price... Five grand. Five grand. <laughs> this better be good, man. This is how it looks when it's on my on my head. I can just lift it up, I can do some work, then I can just scout the area for more targets. In theory, this should be great, but let's see. Chris has his suit on. Yes. Now. He's gonna hide there and we will try to find him with this little device. Let's see, go. Okay, I'm gonna walk out for, let's do just 20 meters. And if more distance is needed, then we're just gonna do more distance. Chris is walking into the forest. I will know where he is. It's gonna be easier for me to spot him. We are just testing this. Let's see how this works. It's kind of interesting during the day. So you just flip this cover and it gets turned on. It's basically black and white image. I'm gonna show you later. <sighs> Okay, Joseph, does it work? Yeah, actually it works pretty decent. Yeah, but to be fair, this leaf suit is like a sock. Yeah, but I can see you pretty well. Now I'm gonna show you how it looks. Okay, now you can see Chris right here and you can pretty well distinguish the, the human shape, actually. I'm gonna expose my arm now. You can see it pretty well. But what about the pants? Because here I have pants and this thing on. No, it's the same. It's pretty much the same. So you're saying I can shield it with with clothes? Seems like it. Okay, I'm gonna get a winter jacket and then we see if that's actually true. Okay, now the whole thing with a jacket on. This is a UF Pro thermo jacket, so it's not very thick, so it's probably not ideal, but it does conserve the heat very well in winter, which should be ideal for camouflaging myself against the print that I leave when it comes to um, temperature difference. Okay, what about now, Joseph? I can still see you pretty well. So the jacket doesn't do anything? Doesn't do much for sure. Let me zoom in. So this camera actually has a zoom with this button. So let's try zooming in. Another zoom. So yeah, once you start zooming in, the image quality is obviously not as great because I suppose it's digital zoom. Without zoom, pretty decent once you start zooming in. But you can see further away. So there is this trade-off. Joseph, let's try movement. I'm just gonna move, I'm gonna crosswalk. I'm gonna try to follow you. I'm gonna walk this direction so you can basically see the full movement. And maybe it's even better if you have a thermo camera to, you know, see moving objects. What about now? Pretty nice. Yeah, I can see you pretty well. So it does work actually, huh? It does work, man. I'm surprised. Before we started actually recording a video, we were like, nah, this is not gonna work. It's like, nah. It's like gimmick. Actually, I'm surprised. Okay. Let we should try. probably switch roles now. Okay, great. Okay, so we switched roles. I'm gonna go back there and let's see what, what Chris has to say about this thing. By the way, how do I look? You look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> man, I can totally see the contour of your body. Especially if you move, man, you're like totally visible. But honestly, when I just take it off, it's actually easier to see you when I take it off. <laughs> I don't know if it actually makes sense. I think it's a gimmick during the day. Let's see how it performs at night because we can test it. But first of all, let's see what happens if I actually go into this river. And then we're also gonna check a fire during the day. Yeah, let's do the river now. Let's do it. So we have a river right here. I think it's around five degrees because it comes straight from the mountain. So it's like melted ice. Let's see if I could, you know, like a, a border that's watched with thermo cameras. Could I just jump into cold water, cross the border and be safe? Let's do this. Whoa. 
Dip your head. Dip your head, Chris. It's nice and stingy. I can totally tell this is not 36 degrees body temperature water. So it should cool me down after all. Okay, 3, 2, 1. Let's check. Okay, I crossed the border. With yeah, a pack, with a pack of I can actually see you very well because you are black. Yeah. <laughs> you are completely black. Okay, I have to wait a little bit. Just tell, <laughs> me, just tell me when I'm the same temperature. It's even more visible than <laughs> the heat. Maybe I, maybe I have to hug a tree so I get like the same temperature as the tree. No, I can still see you very, very well. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't work then. <laughs> maybe, yeah. I mean, I can already see how we are warming up. Your body, your shoulders. What if I... Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like you are ripped, man. <laughs> <laughs> because I am too... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. the muscles become warmer than the, all the other useless stuff around it. Uh, who knows? Let's go to the fire and warm up and let's check the fire. Okay, everyone, now we have fire, I think 700 degrees. Here 700? That's more. Okay, a thousand. It's a thousand degrees <laughs> Celsius. Uh, we have a bucket with about five degree cold water. And now we gotta see how it looks if I just pour it into this thing. Ready? Go. Not much happened. No? At least on the camera. Okay, we're gonna get another bucket. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't do much. What? <laughs> is this a thermo camera or what? <laughs> or is it just a gimmick? Okay. Yeah, and what do you think about this thing? A waste of money. Probably. Yeah. I don't think it's a waste of money. I think day games, so daylight games. Ah! But let's try this whole thing one more time at night. All right, it is midnight, around yeah. midnight. It's pitch dark. Uh, we have a nice campfire over there. And the light is super bright yeah, as that, well. The light is super Cannot bright. see anything. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the camera light and I'm just gonna run to like 50 meters, then 100 meters, then 150 meters. And you will look through this thing. Let's see if it makes sense at night. I can already tell you it makes total sense. Let's do it. Yeah, that's a difference. That's 150 meters. Yeah, we can see you pretty well. Yeah, we can see you very well. Okay, that's 250. That's pretty amazing, I must say. 150. We can still see you. It's eight times zoom now. My hands are a little bit shaking, but we can still see him. Yeah, I could totally see you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's it. You can totally yeah. distinguish people on that distance. That's amazing. Yeah. And actually, I must say it's pretty comfortable. It's it's actually with my left eye, I see the camera where, where it is and it matches with the frame. So it's not like too weird. I think it would be totally doable, like seeing the red dot and matching it with this frame. I see my hands. I would be totally able to see the sight. So for the night, definitely a yes. Yes. During the day, if you kind of think like, man, what if I have a thermal vision during the day? Maybe I see all the hiding people. It doesn't really work. That's another thing. Like, no matter how good it is, I mean, this thing is five grand. With that being said, for that money, I would expect this to be waterproof, yes. operate in uh, ridiculous temperatures and everything. So Maybe shooting the lens? Ah, uh, that would be painful. You can protect it, I guess. Not sure how careful they have to be with the glass. I don't know. Can you protect it? It's thermal. Probably needs to be like infrared, not blocking, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if you it's put It's like, probably not as easy as putting yeah. like a transparent pet bottle there. But yeah, conclusion during the day. For me, it's a definite no. During the night, we would have to compare it to a night vision. But what we really like about it is that it's incredibly compact. It's super easy to use. Yeah. 
I mean, it it doesn't bother me at and all. And you don't actually. need the counterweight in the back. No, no, you no, just no, no. Put it there. Everything is in this small package, and it sits nicely. I mean, I can move my head. I can actually see the surroundings. I can see the buildings over there. I can see into the windows. Trees, <laughs> I everything. can't see into the windows. I mean, no. If if if, if somebody would be standing there, yeah. like like a sniper or something, I would totally see him. Before we ending the video, big shout out to the guys from ASCW ISTV. It's an airsoft club here in Austria. They were nice enough to actually provide this here for this quick test quick review that was by no means professional it's just like you know us as airsoft players messing with this thing so thanks for them for providing it and if you want to check it out we're gonna leave a link down below to the airsoft club and if you guys want to join an austrian airsoft club you can always do that by contacting them thanks for watching and we see you on the next one see ya right